find this evening, Paradise Lost. Just as surely as April showers bring May flowers, we know what May flowers bring. To people with allergies, people who sneeze at the sight of a dogwood in bloom, Arizona's always held a certain attraction. The state has long been a mecca for people in search of the dry, pollen-free desert air. What used to be pollen-free desert air? ABC's Ken Kashiwahara is there. For 40 years, the deserts of the Southwest have been heralded as an oasis for the sneezers, uh -huh. the snifflers, <laughs> allergy sufferers who sought refuge from their airborne enemy, pollen. They were told, take your sinuses to Arizona. So they came here to the sunshine and dry desert air by the hundreds of thousands from all parts of the country to find their haven from hay fever, their pollen-free paradise. But guess what happened? I have headaches and uh, tightness over my eyes and itchy eyes, itchy nose. I came from France to Arizona to get rid of my lung problems and so I got allergies. If that sounds like trouble in paradise, it is. The newcomers wanted their new homes to look like their old ones and wound up planting their own poison. Thousands of mulberry and olive trees and Bermuda grass polluting the air with the very pollen they had left behind. Sometimes I can't even go out jogging. It's so bad. I was shocked that, that I had allergy problems here. Dr. Jacob Pinnis, one of Tucson's leading allergists, okay. suffers from allergies himself. Thought he too was escaping the problem when he left New Jersey, but found a bigger one. I would call it an epidemic. We have uh, two to three fold uh, the national average for hay fever and uh, asthma. So the county passed a law prohibiting developers from planting any more mulberry and olive trees, forcing residents to mow their lawns to keep the pollen count down. The violators face $300 a day in fines. Mark Sneller is the county's pollen buster who prowls the neighborhood, sniffing out residents who haven't gotten wind of the message. Uh, this property is in violation of the pollen control laws. That's so far, Sneller has issued only trees, warnings, uh, but now repeat offenders will have to tell it to the judge. It's no more Mr. Nice Guy. We're going to move very quickly on the violators and we're not going to fool around with it. Some residents are tearing out their lawns altogether, replacing them with the grassless, treeless landscape they found here in the first place. But pollen-producing trees are now firmly rooted in schools and parks, even in front of the health department, even around the very hospitals where allergy patients are treated. And the Bermuda grass grows wild everywhere. So short of digging up the entire town, allergy sufferers can only hope their sinuses don't get any worse. <laughs> the paradise of the past is gone forever. Ken Kashwahara, ABC News, Tucson, Arizona.